Okay, so I had a great day with emulation yesterday because I managed to get GameCube working on my Xbox Series S in development mode. Uh, and the way I did it was basically by watching this YouTube video uh, where this guy gets PS2 working on the original Xbox, and I'm sure this works for Xbox Series S as well. But uh, I wanted to try GameCube because Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX2 is one of my favorite games from all time. So in the description of this video, you'll find uh, My Files Explorer. There's a link for that and you can download it and you can add it to your Xbox and he shows how to do it in his video. Once you have that, if you launch My Files Explorer, uh, you'll find that you've got navigation uh, of your Xbox and if you plug in a USB stick, it shows up on the left here. He shows how to mount this isolated storage and he shows how to copy things over. I don't quite remember what I did uh, and I'm gonna try and maybe retrace my steps and make a, an easier tutorial, but uh, it's, uh, it's something I need to try and have a look at in the future. But one of the key things was uh, that you the games don't run uh, lots of games and all the games I tried of GameCube didn't run from external storage. I had to put it on the SSD drive. Once I put it on the SSD drive, I had to do no other settings to RetroArch to make it work. So uh, if I go to isolated storage, now I can't remember if it's, I've got, I've got this game in two places on the Xbox and I can't remember which one I linked to make it work, but I think it seems to be, as long as it's on the Xbox, uh, on the actual SSD of the Xbox, it seems to be fine. So we go into RetroArch and launch that. So all I did was go to load content and this one here. Uh, and this gives you access to lots of folders that you don't normally see. Uh, and in the downloads folder, I had Dolphin and System and I managed to get the game in here. Once you click on that, it will actually launch and then you can launch it in GameCube. I've managed to add it to my favorites. Uh, so if I go back, yeah, back to here and just go right. You can see I've got favorites and Dave Mir is showing up. And uh, all I do is click on it and it launches. The issue I had then was that the key mapping was wrong. Uh, the X and the Y and the A and the B were reversed. And I couldn't find a config file to be able to get it to work. So in the end, all I did was, uh, because this was the, the game I wanted to get running, uh, because I do loads of emulation on my uh, on my Pi 4. So loads of the older stuff I can do on the Pi 4 and it runs well. But GameCube doesn't run anywhere near this well on the Pi 4. So I went to input and uh, I swapped over some of the controls. So we go to port one controls and I've swapped over B and A. So A, my A is showing as zero, my B is showing as two and the Y button is three and the X button is one. So all you do is uh, click on whichever one you want and then reassign the keys like you would normally do. But I've just changed those around, nothing else. So what it means now is my menus, to go back I press A and to select I press X. So it's a bit confusing if you're used to using RetroArch, but the key thing is once I'm in the game, everything is mapped correctly and I'll show you the game running and I've turned on the FPS so you can see that it runs uh, very much at 60 FPS a lot of the time. Uh, it launches much quicker, so I did have a Wii game run from the USB stick, but I, could, I didn't have the controllers mapped properly and so I couldn't play it. But uh, I think it was probably because it was a very small size. Because there is something about a two gig limit to do with, uh, with the emulation. Right, so let's go into the game. You can see the menus are super fast. I do love this game. I've bought every single physical disc version. So I've got the PC version, the GameCube, the Dreamcast, the PlayStation. Uh, I've got them on physical disc because I love the game so much. Uh, it was the original PlayStation one that I, I sort of first started playing. So you can see it's super fast. Now it, initially I thought it was playing too fast because it is super swift. Oh, don't know what happened there. <laughs> oh crikey, that was a crash. Um, but it is actually, I timed it and it does work at the right speed. Oh, oh got out of that there. That was nice, <laughs> wasn't intentional. So you can see uh, as I move around the environment, it doesn't seem to be doing the bit uh, where there's slowdown. It seems to be, I'm not getting even uh, where it lags or anything like that. Everything seems super fast. Oh, no, that wasn't gonna work, was it? But, uh, so I'm, I'm really pleased. And what this 
pretty much means is that most GameCube games uh, seem to work very well on it. I've seen other people running different GameCube games. PS2 seems to be running already pretty well. Oh. But uh, this was the one game uh, that I really wanted to get up and running. And I really wish they would remake this. I know they did Tony Hawk's recently, but I was more into BMX. And so for me, it's more important to have it running on a BMX. And just the, the physics are different uh, on the skateboard games and the BMX games. <laughs> it's having a terrible run. But uh, yeah, so really, really pleased. Anyway, I hope this helps. I will try and do a bit of a tutorial. If I can work out a way of doing it properly um, and, and sort of making it sense. But I would direct you to that other video that I got, it, uh, I got the information from because actually it enabled me to, to be able to run this and I'm super happy that I'm running it. Oh. Anyway, I hope you like this. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.